the normal brush tool, the mixer brush tool, the close stamp tool, the spotting brush tool, the patch tool, the crop tool, the zoom tool, and the eraser tool. So basically, these are the eight tools you need for skill retouching. So if you open Photoshop for the first time, the interface can be intimidating and confusing. But I'm going to tell you that you don't actually need the whole tools right here to retouch an image. So to use those tools which I mentioned earlier to retouch this image, I'm just going to duplicate my background layer by pressing on Ctrl J. So after I duplicate my layer, I'm just going to pick my patch tool. So this is the patch tool right here. And I will recommend you change your windows from default to photography because it's quite easy like that with photography. All right. So once I pick my patch tool, the function of this patch tool, you can use it to actually remove blemishes. So all you have to do is select your patch tool and just circle around the blemishes you want to remove and just move it like that to remove blemishes from the image, just like this. So that's how you can actually use the patch tool. And there are other tools which can actually use to remove blemishes, like the sports enable tool, which I mentioned earlier. So just come to your toolbar and look for sports enable tool. So this is the sports healing brush tool right here. So if you over around it, you are going to see the name right there, sports healing brush tool. So just pick on it. Now to use this sports healing brush tool, just zoom on your image and just paint on the blemishes and it will automatically remove those blemishes for you. Just like that. So I use this a lot. And also I also use the close stamp tool a lot. All right. So this is how the sports healing brush tool actually works. But you can also use the close stamp tool to remove blemishes from your image. So just select your close stamp tool. Just zoom in and just press alternate to sample from a close by area. So press us to sample and just brush it over any blemishes you want to remove just like that. So that's how you use the close stamp tool. But I really don't use the close stamp tool directly on this layer right here. You can see it's leaving some patches as you can see. So I'm just going to undo that and use focus separation close stamp tool to remove the blemishes. All right. Now that you know how those tools work, let's retouch this image. Now, I already have an action for retouching. So if you want that action, I'll be leaving the link where you can get it in the shop below. So after you download and install the action, just come to your windows and click on action right here. You are going to see the action. So just scroll the way down and look for focus separation 8-bit or 16-bit. If your image is 8-bit, click on focus separation 8-bit. And if you want to see if your image is 8-bit or 16-bit, just come to your image, click on mode, and you're going to see 16-bit or 8-bit. So this image is 8-bit. So I'm going to click on focus separation 8-bit right here. And from here, I'm just going to use a Gaussian blur radius of 12 for this image and click on OK. So from here, let's remove the blemishes from this image. So I'm going to zoom in and just click on this high frequency copy layer right here. Pick my close stamp tool, press alternate to sample from a close by area and just paint over any blemishes I want to remove and paint it over any blemishes you want to remove. All right. So as you can see, we've removed the blemishes from this image. So this is the before and this is the after. So that's close stamp tool. Right now for the zoom tool, like I said, you also need the zoom tool for retouching. Now the function of the zoom tool is just to zoom in on your image and zoom out, zoom in and zoom out from my image. So that's the function of the zoom tool. So don't worry about any tools you are seeing on the toolbar. Just focus on the one you need. All right. Now we've removed the blemishes. Now let me show you how you can use the mixer brush tool to actually smoothen out your image. Come to your toolbar again and you're going to see your normal brush tool. So just right click on your normal brush tool. And you are going to see the mixer brush tool so click and hold this brush tool right here and you are going to see the mixer brush tool and just select the mixer brush tool and for the mixer brush tool just follow my settings up here and just hide this high frequency layer right here so just mix on the color like this to smoothen out the colors on the image just like that so let's see the before and after so if i zoom in, you can see this is the before and the after the before and the after so that's how the mixer brush tool actually works so just take your time to use it for the whole of the image so the next one I want to explain is the normal brush tool. let me show you how the normal brush tool works so let's say i want to make the eyes white so all i have to do is come back to my action again and click on eyes and teeth white me right here so once i click on this side that is white me all i have to do is pick my normal brush tool and make sure the foreground color is set to white and if it's on black just click on this place right here to change this to white or black so make sure it's on white because the layer mask we're going to be brushing on is on black. So white will be in black hides. And if it's on another color, just click on this small black and white icon right here to change it to default black and white. So from here, change your opacity to 100, flow 100, and make sure you are using a soft round brush. So just click on the brush settings right here and use change your hardness from 100 to 0% to make it a soft brush. And just zoom in on the white part of the eyes and just paint it like so. All right. So this is how the normal brush tool works. All right. And if you feel you actually make any mistake and brush it to the skin, 
just press X on your keyboard to switch to a black brush or click on this arrow right here to switch to a black brush and just erase it or just remove it from there. Or if you are brushing and you feel you make any mistake, you can also use the eraser tool. So just pick the eraser tool, also change it to a soft brush and just use it to erase it from there. So basically that's how the eraser tool works. So like I said, these are all the tools you need for skin retouching. All right, and you can also do the same thing for the teeth, but there is no teeth, so I'm just going to reduce the opacity if I feel it's too much, just like that. So let me just go by everything I did so far, so you can see the before and after. So this is the before. We use the patch tool, the spotting brush tool, and the close stamp tool to actually remove the blemishes. And we also use the mixer brush tool to smooth out the image. And we use the normal brush tool to make the eyes white. And we can use the zoom tool to zoom in and zoom out. Now for the cup, so let's say you want to crop this image four by five for Instagram. So just click on your cup tool right here, and just choose your ratio four by five for Instagram and just crop it the way you want. So I think I'm going to crop this image like this and click on OK. And I'm just going to crop this image for us just like that. So like I said, you have the zoom tool. Now that you can do, you can actually customize this tool to make it less complicated. So I've already customized mine. So if you want to customize your toolbar, just come to your edit and click on toolbar right here. And from here, you can actually remove any tool you don't actually want. So let's say I don't want this um, rectangular market tool tab. I'm just going to click on it and just drag it towards the side. I just going to move from here and also let's say i don't want this um this tab right here this dodger bone tab i'm just going to move it here i'm just going to remove like that so i've already customized my so once you're done just click on done and you can see those tools are no longer there so i've already customized my photoshop so i come to my windows click on workspace and click on silence right here so you can see right here these are only the tools i have on my photoshop so these are the tools i use for retouching so these are the only tools you need for skill retouching and if you want to learn how to retouch your image check out this playlist right here i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative